Starting from the 17th century BC to the 10th century BC is the Mycenaean Greek boar tusk helmet. The helmet was made through the use of slivers of boar tusks, which were attached to a leather base padded with felt in rows. They weighed around 1.2 pounds to 2.5 pounds. Next up is 6th century BC to 1st century BC, the Corinthian helmet. The Corinthian helmet originated in ancient Greece and took its name from the city-state of Corinth. It was a helmet made of bronze, which in its later styles covered the entire head and neck with slits for the eyes and mouth. These helmets would commonly deflect arrows. Corinthian's helmet could weigh between 2 pounds and 4.4 pounds. And now we have the 9th century AD to the 12th century AD, the nasal helmet. The nasal helmet was a type of combat helmet characterized by the possession of a projecting bar covering the nose and thus protecting the entire face. It was made from a single sheet of iron, and the double layering of male coif and iron offered increased protection. Nasal helmets could weigh from 2.6 pounds up to 4 pounds. From 12th century AD to 15th century AD was the Great Helm. In its simplest form, the Great Helm was a flat-topped cylinder of steel that completely covered the head and had only very small openings for the eyes and mouth. It was used by most knights in the armies of Europe. However, ventilation was a major issue with these helmets. Helmets could weigh from 3.3 pounds up to 6 pounds. From the 15th to 16th century is the Armit Helmet. It was distinguished by being the first helmet of its era to completely enclose the head while being compact and light enough to move with the wearer. Its use was essentially restricted to the fully armored man-at-arms. It could weigh between 4.3 pounds up to 7.7 .7 pounds. In the early 1900s was the Broody Helmet. The Broody Helmet is a steel combat helmet designed and patented in London in 1915 by John Leopold Broody. These helmets were made with 12% manganese which was capable of stopping a 45 caliber pistol round at 600 FPS fired at 10 feet. The weight of the helmet was 1.3 pounds. During the Second World War 1985, was the M1 helmet. The M1 helmet was a combat helmet that was used by the US military from World War II until 1985, when it was succeeded by the PASGT helmet. The M1 helmet has become an icon of the US military, with its design inspiring other militaries around the world. Each helmet was made from a single piece of pressed Hanfield manganese steel. The helmet weighed around 2.85 pounds. From 1983 and onwards is the PASGAT helmet. The PASGAT helmet is a combat helmet first employed by the US military in 1983 and eventually adopted by many other military and law enforcement agencies internally. The shell is made from 19 layers of Kevlar, a ballistic aramid fabric treated with a phenolic resin system. It weighs from 3.1 pounds to 4.2 pounds. It was also the first mass-produced helmet to design to accumulate various accessories such as night vision goggles, etc. From 1997 onwards is Modular Integrated Communications Helmet. The Mitch was originally part of a series of combat helmets designed for the US Army Special Operations Command as a replacement for the PASGT helmet. The lighter weight and non-ballistic nature of those helmets allowed the fitting of additional accessories without putting undue strain on the neck. The MICH is commonly fitted with a night vision shroud and even side accessory rails. The Mitch helmet weighs around 3 pounds to 3.6 pounds. And finally, we have the ATE High Cut Helmets. The need to support more accessories led to the development of ATE High Cut Helmets. These helmets are extremely comfortable to wear due to the advancement of the materials used. These helmets are also rated to the NIJ AAA protection that is capable of stopping a 44 Magnum pistol round at 10 feet. These helmets feature side rails for advanced communication devices, and they weigh around 2.2 to 3 pounds. Guys, we've finally come to the end of the video. Do tell us in the comments which are your favorite ones. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.